My name is James Shove. I'm uh, from Walnut, Illinois. I uh, farm 2,600 acres uh, with my dad and, and two cousins. Um, we've been strip tilling for about uh, 11, 12 years now. Uh, initially, we started off with uh, uh, hiring a guy to uh, do some custom strips on some bean stubble, first year corn, and uh, uh, had just come into the area and wanted to try it out. Uh, it was a program to start with, we had some challenges with, uh, with uh, seeing strips come spring to plan on, uh, but uh, uh, over time in adjustment to equipment and that type of thing, we were able to uh, uh, fine tune that particular part of the operation. Um, we currently own our own strip till bar, have uh, uh, had that in place for about seven years now. And uh, uh, as far as strip till for us, um, comparative wise to uh, uh, where we were completely 100% uh, conventional uh, has really brought about um, in some senses a cost saving as far as trips across the field but uh, also uh, uh, soil health, uh, residue management, um, uh, soil moisture conservation uh, but uh, Probably one of the main things that uh, we continue to do strip till is in regards to today is in residue management. Um, with the hybrids we have today, we just have a lot of residue to work with. Uh, from my standpoint, I would much rather see a, a strip till scenario versus conventional uh, in the sense that uh, when I uh, look at overall residue management, I would much rather have my uh, residue uh, in the center of that row uh, where my strip is off to the side here, I, I've, I've cleaned it, uh, uh, or created my strip, my berm, and then I come back in the, with a planter. I've, I've cleaned that row. I have absolutely no residue whatsoever, and, and just a perfect uh, seed bed for uh, for germination. Uh, so, from a standpoint of, of strip till versus conventional, uh, that's one of the main things that I see is in regards to uh, overall stand establishment, uh, much better. Uh, seed bed and preparation uh, with a strip till.